Mm -hmm. Hey guys, Sackerbeats here, coming to you with another video. On uh, today, this is part um, 12, I believe, and mm -hmm. uh, we are going to upgrade this sucker right here, and we're gonna upgrade all of our wires going to all of our machines. Um, I'm just getting some rubber. Get all this rubber. All right, and then put it in here. We have a now. Now we have a chest for rubber and coal because we had so much of it. So Too have, much. Yeah, we have its own chest now, and this is all of our stuff. Uh, why do I keep doing that? Why does it do it? Um. So yeah, we went mining and got a ton more stuff, and this is our junk chest, pretty much. So. The f so the upgraded version of our bat box here, which can hold a lot more power, is called the MFE. Um, so if you look at the recipe, you need energy crystals, mach a machine block, and you need double insulated gold cable. So to make, oh wait, let me go back into that. To make the energy crystals, you take a diamond and surround it by redstone. So we should have enough. If I can find the diamonds. Yeah, we have plenty. And then we need redstone, so we're gonna make four because uh, you, you need, need four. Yeah, you need four for the recipe. Um, like so. So we're gonna take one, two, three, four, like that, and then let's have my tech had derped out. Stuff back. Really? Yeah. Put Ran out of memory. Oh, that's weird. Again. I'm gonna put these in the furnaces real quick. Yeah, I'm getting some lag, honestly. I'm actually getting a lot of it right now. Um, let's see if I can make it a little bit better. Just by going. Oh wow! All right, I'm doing tiny for now. Whatever. <laughs> um. So now what we want to do is put back our diamonds and our tin. Um, so the next thing that we have to make is our machine block, and you need, uh, refined iron, and you take the refined iron in a square like so, as you already know, to get your machine block, and then we need our gold cable. So to make gold cable, obviously you need gold, so grab all the gold you have, and you're also going to need a ton of rubber, because you need insulated gold cable. So I'm just going to grab it all. So now what we want to do is you want to take the rubber and go on all four corners, or actually all four insides, I should say middles, and then you put your gold there, and then you get insulated gold cable. Um, like that, so now I've got four stacks, and then put that there again, and then put another, or put more rubber in there. We're going to use a full stack, and you get double times insulated. So now we got double insulated and normal insulated. So we're probably gonna use the double insulated. Uh, What's I don't the difference? Know. I don't. I honestly don't know. I think it's just like, like keeps the energy keeps the energy in more, so you can like make it go farther. Maybe I, I actually have no idea. Or does it like decrease the chance of shock or something? Yeah, because you can actually shock yourself if you use uninsulated cable, and you can like. So you always want to use insulated unless you absolutely can't. Yeah, I think this is how you do it. You might have to, yep, there you go, MFE. So now we got that, and we're gonna replace it with this, so. We're gonna wrench it, uh, or can you mine these? Yeah, I don't think you wrench them. Yeah, you, you just mine them. All right, so now you take that, and the power, or the output is on this side, so we'll just do that, and that's see it goes up. And now our um, thermal generators or geothermal. Yeah, hey, uh, that's a map box. A Just put down. Oh, did I really? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Whoops. Derp. Why did it do that? That's so weird. All right, there we go. Now we have our MFE. And uh, these are all outputting power. Quite fastly too, because that's how awesome they are. And then we're gonna use the rest of this double insulated cable and change all of these. Uh, I just keep having them. We're gonna change out all these wires. 
to be double times insulated. Yeah. Oh, whoops. And this should be able to distribute more power to more places at a time because it can hold more power and transfer more power. And you'll lose a lot less power the further it travels. Yeah. And then you want to have it come down the side because the green on here is the output. Or if you have like the normal texture pack, it's a, uh, it's just like a circle red. or something. It's like red or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So now this should be able to sustain really or like a lot of power, hopefully. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we should. I think we're also gonna make. Uh, Huh. What should we do here? I don't I think, know. I think uh, we're gonna make. Hmm. Oh yeah, the last. That's all right. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show you is this on-off switch. Now what that does is, um, in the back, we have our tanks of lava, and if I just break this, I can show you. We have all of these hooked up to all of these pipes, and it's all hooked up with this one cable going all the way over there to the switch. So if you take, if you turn the switch on, all these turn on and pump out the lava that is needed to refill the geothermal generators when needed. So that way we don't have to come back here and change or um, and like turn them on manually each. That way you can just look at it, and be like, oh, need more lava, turn it on and turn it off real quick. Uh, that's what it's, that's what it's used for. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you like this video, uh, please make sure to um, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribing really helps um, helps myself with my uh, popularity on uh, YouTube, as you all know. Um, so thanks for watching, and have a nice day.